Well, hey there again, everybody. I'm back. Did you miss me yet? Um, so yeah, finally, I just come back from my vacation and it's so good to see you guys again. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, uh, my name is Bobby and this is my humble lair, sort of like my man cave where creativity happens and where inspiration kind of strikes me. So yeah, I mean, uh, I just, I just got back from my vacation, as you can see, like I've been away for about two months, you know, visiting family back home in Indonesia, in Jakarta. And it's been such a great experience, it's been such a, such a like refreshing take, I would say, because not only my kid, my daughter can play with their grandparents and also their cousins and things like that, but it also refreshing for me to see you know, a different side of the world to see uh, a difference in my routine as well. You know, nothing, nothing as uh, I would say uh, mundane, but it is, you know, because sometimes when you're stuck in a place for so long, you you become that place and being somewhere else kind of kind of refresh that and kind of give you a different perspective on life and uh, how people are living their lives and things like that. So, yeah, but again, it's good to be back and today I just want to talk a little bit about uh, my experience with fear or what you call false evidence appearing real, right? It's either that or you can face everything and rise. So that's the topic of the day. I want to talk to you a little bit about my experience with fear uh, and sometimes this thing is the number one cause for people to procrastinate. That's the number one factor of things that debilitate people, you know, and it paralyzes people because of their fear. There's a lot of multiple occasions in my life where I feel paralyzed by my own fears. And sometimes when you get through so many uh, occasions like that, you're starting to understand, you're starting to crack the code that it it's not real, you know, and, and your turns out to be okay no matter what happens and as as human you get to be able to maneuver around that you get to be able to with time obviously you get to figure out a way how to handle your fear and sometimes what you think the worst case scenario that you think in your head is just your imagination it's not even real you know it's just something that you're conditioned to believe that it might happen to you that worst thing might happen to you or your deepest care is something that will manifest something like that so it's okay to have that caution i would say but it's it's not supposed to stop you on your track that's all i'm saying and sometimes as a human we we have the tendency to submit to our fear we have a tendency to submit to our either mistakes or uh something that we did wrong and we feel guilty about it that's why we fear so much about what our action is gonna be and uh, the repercussion that's gonna be happening to us because of that mistakes but i want to i want to tell you that it's not true and it's completely false because most of the time uh it's never happening like for example take for example when you are in a car and there's a racing thought that you might hit somebody or you might be involved in a car accident or you might run a red light you know multiple instances where you can think the worst case that can happen to you but as you drive along on the road sooner or later you're gonna it's gonna disappear you know that thought's gonna disappear because you start to enjoy the ride you start to noticing that your aware awareness is something that you can control and with that awareness of course nothing will happen to you because it's just a fragment of your imaginations again when i took example when you're about to board a plane right you're about to go on a flight and there's this i don't know maybe it's because the product of televisions movies and things like that where you get the condition that it might happen to you or like when you see some accidents on the news things like that you immediately thought that it could happen to you as well whereas in reality the chances of you getting struck by lightning is probably higher than that thing happens to you right so you have to control that and i learned my lessons 
it's not an easy way to do it but i learned it through hard way that you can actually control your emotion you can actually control your um, reaction to fear and of course it starts by practicing your subconscious thought to think that none of it, none of this will happen to you not a, none of this is real and once you can control that I guarantee you you will start to get better you will start to control your thoughts better when whenever that thought starts rising in your mind you have to stop it on its track you know it's the only way to do it it's the only way for you to actually um, face it you have to face your fear and another thing and another thing that I want to tell you is that sometimes you have to be able to control the amount of stress that comes with it there's no point in stressing twice because that thing hasn't happened yet you know if that thing eventually happens then yes maybe you can stress about it but you also gonna face it you're gonna have to find solution for that uh, to for you to navigate through your problems or like to navigate through your mistakes but before that things happen there's no point for you stressing it out so that's only going to amplify it's going to make you stress out twice you know if you know what i mean so it's not really it's not really worth it for you to do that so i really want to imply this to you that fear is something that we can control and if you are brave enough to face your fears to face your mistakes eventually you will become a stronger person you will you will know that there's nothing in life that you cannot overcome that's all i'm saying uh, except for death you know except for a really chronic illness which you can probably fight it as well so there's no reason for you to submit to your fears or like to submit to any conditions that you are in right now because everything can be worked out everything in life can be worked out as long as, as long as you are breathing as long as you are capable you know as long as you have an able body you have your mind you have your emotion you have your heart to overcome it you will come out victorious you will come out you will overcome that the thing that you are afraid of so this is the message for you today i'm not gonna keep it short because you know it's been a while since i've done this but i really want to give you this message that you can face your fear and it's just a false evidence appearing real in your fragment of imagination and nothing of it is real it's just like the matrix you know nothing of it is real and as long as you can control it just like there's this um, there's this quote that says you can't control the wind but you can always control the sail right it it means that sometimes in life uh, you cannot control the circumstances that's gonna fall upon you that's gonna come to you but you can control how you react to it right it's not how you bend the wind to your will but it's how you study the wind so that you are able to control it all right that's the uh, the message I want to share to you today and hopefully uh, I can keep giving you a good message I can give you more topics to talk about in the next couple of weeks or you know uh, I'm gonna keep producing contents for you I'm gonna keep producing topics for you to talk about and thank you again for tuning in I hope you subscribe to my channel right here and if you haven't please uh, hit like and please follow me on YouTube and on Instagram as well uh, my name is Bobby Liao and you can find me on uh, Instagram at Bobby Liao and also on my YouTube account all right so catch you guys again next time and thank you for tuning in all right bye bye